And Archangel Staff of the Apocalypse. Yay! I was hoping... And the Harlequin Quest. Crest. That was one of the other ones. Hello, everyone! Peach is here with another episode of Let's Play Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. You actually never know what day it's going to be. This week it happens to be... The day that it is, which is, uh, I guess, Thursday. <laughs> I'm, a little, I'm trying to catch up, trying to just, I'm going to do it, okay? And yes, you guys, before you sigh too much, you're like, oh gosh, you're back at this Diablo again. There's a good reason for it, because Diablo just released the newest update, which with the update comes the cool fact that they have... Oh, I gotta get a pet out. Gotta get a pet out. The fact that they have added all the dyes. So now you can make yourself as colorful as you want. It's all in one central location. It's so great. But what's more important, which is the reason why I'm bringing this up, is the Darkening of Tristram event. They had discussed this back in uh, BlizzCon that they were going to put in a uh basically diablo 1 into diablo 3 and that's what we have have here now i don't know how i actually got that level yeah okay never mind i didn't so that's what we have here and one of the reasons why i'm running around naked with a wizard that is just okay where is this thing is that they have an achievement that is basically there uh, to complete the Awakening of Tristram with a level 1 character. That's what I'm looking for. So that's what I'm doing. And here we are in lovely Tristram with corpses and destruction everywhere. They've been hard at work. So you go around and you can actually... There's a couple things that happen here. One... Excuse me. <coughs> All right. So of course you try to kill Diablo and they have all these guys' corpses around and you want to basically restore their spirits to them. And once you do that, you get a special unique unlock. I've actually went through and beat this already with my higher level character. So I kind of have an idea of what's going on. I think ultimately it doesn't take very long to beat if you're quick about it, but uh, I might actually have to turn this into a multi-part because I'm not exactly sure how much. Cows be free, your spirits are free. And as I was considering doing this game, so, all right, anyways, though, so you have the spirits, you rescue them, and after you finish rescuing all of them, you basically get a recipe that drops, and it's really cool. Totally worth doing it. And then also, the other big thing that you get from this is when you kill Diablo, you get a brand new gem, which is awesome. Now, I am starting as a level one character on this, admittedly. But I am starting with all my Paragon levels intact here. So yeah, I'm kind of cheating, but at the same time, I don't want you guys to be bored out of your mind while I'm trying to get through these and dying on the simple creatures. I just thought that was silly. So that's why I kept my levels intact. And I could ice fray them. So yeah, so this is it. This is pretty cool. A new skill. Can I, I'm still in combat. How am I in combat? Oh. You. All right, there we go. Very fast, very well. And anyway, so, so I've been trying to say is I was play, trying to consider what I should exactly play in this game. And I was thinking, okay, it's Diablo 1. What is the most closely resembled Diablo 1 characters that exist? And immediately my mind went to either the Demon Hunter to represent the Rogue or... The uh, wizard. Now, I guess like you could consider the barbarian kind of similar, but uh, I don't know. I guess maybe you could you could probably get away with the, the barbarians like uh, the the warrior that you could have in this one, and that's cool. But I was thinking though, and I was talking to my coworker there today, and he was mentioning, you know what? I remember playing Diablo one and sending just swarms of of freaking hydras upon the enemy, like massive swarms of them and fireballs and i was like you know what magic has actually been the one thing that's pretty much been consistent you have your chain lightning which was super awesome in diablo one your firewall which you wanted and then your hydras which you could throw out 
and freaking just wipe out everything with that once you got a high enough level. I mean, they were... You could easily have an overpowered caster if you got out of there. So, I was like, you know what? That seems like the way to go. So, that's exactly what I made. Made my lovely wizard here. And for the most part, I'm going to try to do this at... Whoops. Uh, you know, as, as you guys are watching to try to get through things. Now, like I said, I kind of rushed through this earlier and... It takes, when you're, I guess, going through at a medium pace, it probably takes about an hour, maybe a little more to complete. So it really doesn't take very long, but the problem is there's no checkpoint. So that's where, like, the, uh, I have to figure out how I'm going to handle that one. And, yeah, so that's what we're also going to do. And since I'm playing the wizard, for now, I'm going to take whatever weapons, but as soon as I get a staff, that's what I'm keeping with, because that's what wizards used in the first one. And that was it, just the staff. So I will have to find one, and I will use it. Now, they actually really did their best to make this as nostalgic as possible, which is kind of cool. And, like, when you kill the unique monsters in this game, uh, they actually have the high-end drops that you would <laughs> drop from them that you would, like, seek after for hours and hours and hours in Diablo 1. Primarily, I'm sure many of you already have guessed it, Godly Play of the Whales, the... Uh, King, the King's Sword of Haste, and the Archangel Staff of Apocalypse, I believe. All those are amazing. Lean, it hits you right in the nostalgic, just like that. They're just like, hey, by the way, oh, look at that. We'll get closer to that. And it's it's great. I just got the stuff, and I was like, oh, that's so awesome. I'd love to see if they actually wind up using... Um, you know, if you can actually find rare, like, uh, legendaries of them. I haven't found any so far, so I'm not sure if you're able to, but it'd be really cool if you could. And we're already on level two. And there are actually the same amount of levels. There is six, there's 16 levels uh, before you face Diablo. So that's, that's pretty cool. And yeah, for now, boom, I'm just leveling up like crazy. And they actually, on top of... All the cool stuff that they put in and the nostalgic stuff with the gear. They've actually added in a lot of the old creatures too. And I thought that was just really cool. I mean, you have the Butcher, which everybody saw in the demo. But they added... Um, and I don't remember a lot of the bosses that you encountered. I remember a few. Uh, but the one that I really remember was when you got to floor four, you ran into Gerbarl the Mad, which was a goat that uh, was not always didn't always spawn. And he was awesome to get when he actually spawned. And, you know, it was like one of those things where I don't know what it was. You just enjoyed killing the goat man. Just like, yeah, I killed Gerbob the Mad. I'm so spectacular. Yeah, so it was pretty cool. Oh, yes. Feed uh, skeletons die. Now, the only really major gripe I had after going through all this is I kind of wish that they had put... Um... I, I kind of wish that the level design had a little bit more put to it. Like, I remember bits and pieces of, you know, how the level design was with Diablo 1. I just feel like they kind of, they, they, they just, they were there, but not quite throughout everything. So, yeah. All right, Dark Passage. That is just a bonus area that I don't necessarily care about because I'm trying to rush through here. My goal is to actually get down and kill the Butcher, which I believe he always resides on level three, if I remember correctly. So that's what I am going to hope for. I need a staff. And, anyhow. So yeah, so that was really cool when I was getting out and checking that out and I saw this, I was like, oh, right. oh this must be his chambers right here. Oh yeah, oh hey, they actually did do a better job in here than I thought they did. I went through this initially and I wasn't sure about it, to be honest. I was like, wait a minute, this room doesn't seem like the way that it used to be, but sure enough it is. Butcher, be gone! And you get the Butcher's Cleaver, which is a new transmog for everybody that concerns about themselves about those things. So there it is. And we shall use it. I actually almost want to say, and one thing I wasn't able to confirm... Sorry. <coughs> Got a tickle in me throat. And that was... I wasn't able to confirm... Um... Basically, if the stats on these weapons 
are like they were in the first one. So like the godly play of the whale and stuff has certain things. And I almost wonder, like they they add in, of course, the class stats, but I wonder if like they pick that particular armor class and that damage because that's exactly what it was in Diablo 1. I also want to say that was the case because I think the armor, most of the plates I saw were around like 100 armor defense, which is I think about what you would expect for a uh, godly play of the whale in the first one. It was amazing. So I have to, I, I don't know, I have to look into that. Actually, you know what, I don't need to look at that. One of you guys in the comments below, I'm sure, has played Diablo 1 and has been looking forward to this and is one of those hardcore fans. You could just fill me in and let me know what you think about that. That would be great. So many guys. I need to, I need to get a staff, man. And among uh, the godly play of the whale, I have found, like I said, the, the sword. I found uh, the some of the unique headpieces, armor pieces that people sought after that you'd instantly recognize. I can't quite think of their name right now, but you would instantly recognize them if you saw it. I mean, it just, yeah. Ah, uh, fine. Whatever. Defensive, okay. Away with us! And they do actually, do indeed drop legendaries. Hey, here's my first uh, guy. Let's see what he is going to drop. Maybe he'll drop me a wonderful Archangel Staff of, nope, Godly Play of the Whale. Yes, I will wear that. I was kind of hoping he would have dropped me the uh, Archangel Staff of the Apocalypse because that would have been sweet. All right, though, but look at that. And I want to say, I think that's exactly or very similar to the stats that they had in the first one. Like in the actual original Diablo. So let's equip that. That's oh, so cool. I'm so excited. I, I wear it because I'm actually going through as level one. So it's really cool. Uh, honestly, it's so weak that it does you no good with your higher level stuff. So that's why I was kind of a little disappointing. But yay, I got something. I would just wish it was Archangel Staff. But that's okay. It'll happen if I keep running into those guys. Let me see. We're still on. Well, how much? What, what progress are we making? I don't. I don't even know what level we're on right now. Four. We're on four, aren't we? I think. This tells me nothing. I feel like I gotta pick up my pace here. Gotta make some more progress. Like I said, I think I'm gonna have to somehow do this too, which means I'll have to do a cut and come back. Um. I don't know. Maybe I can actually find the checkpoint out. Maybe there actually is a checkpoint. Because there's one checkpoint that was in the first one that once you get to a certain level, you could pop out. And I think they have that set up, but I haven't fully explored it, so I don't know yet. So. Yeah. So this was kind of cool. It was a nice little thing. And uh, I also finally caught up on my last year's resolutions. It took me a little bit. I'm a little slow, I must say. Just a tad. Yeah, but I did it. I one of, I set out for a couple things. One was to get through the Bible in a year, and I finally did it. I finally read from back to front and didn't skip around or anything else, and I actually got it done. That was one of my objectives. And the other one that I had was to finish my novel, and I finished it. Now we're on level four. And I am so ecstatic. Uh, I mean, I have worked on that thing for so long and to finally have it complete, it just, it feels amazing. It's, and I've had such an enormous, like, uh, burst of support from people as I announced it to them. And I uh, got so many people that volunteered to be my beta readers for it. And I'm just, wow, that was awesome. So happy about that. So that was pretty cool. And then, yeah. So that's, that's where I am. You know, I've been just on like this high with it, and it's 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 been great. I basically just um, get the beta once the beta readers are finished. I hear what their input says, make any modifications that might be required or needed, and then um, and then off to the editing and get it actually published. So it's right there, it's so close. So I'm excited. Oops, not another one. And Archangel Staff of the Apocalypse. Yay! I was hoping. And the Harlequin Quest. Crest. That was one of the other ones. Yeah, we're going to kid ourselves completely out in this stuff. Booyah. I'm so glad I got that. That makes me so happy. And I've seen rings and other things of that nature, too. 
uh, that are all from Diablo. So they put in a lot of work for that. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, shock pulse. <laughs> no, I want my wave of force back. Frost Nova. No, Frost Nova seems appropriate. All right. Oh, hey, look, and there's Garbod the Week. There's the guy I was telling you all about. He dropped another Archangel Staff of the Apocalypse. So each one of them actually does differ in stats. So like this one, they, so they at least did that much, which is cool. And there we go, oh, man. I'm starting to look like myself a Diablo 1. True character, true Diablo 1 player. I totally pass with... A C plus at a Comic Con dressing as one with my staff and my plate armor. Wow, there's just all kinds of elites in this round. Nice. I was not that. There's the King Sword of Haste. Let's say model and everything. Heck yeah, that's so awesome. Love it. And the way down. There we go. Now we're moving. Level six. Let's see how fast I can get through this. Time to put on the wheels. Pedal to the metal, run really fast. That's what we're going to do today. Or maybe not. I don't know. Depends on... Oh, no, it's one of these little contraption thingies. Right? The blood thing. Gotta go through. Gotta get all these things. I, like, kind of remember this from the first one, but only a little bit. Admittedly, it's been probably about as long as the game was created that I last touched this. So it was like... Oh, man. Tw uh, what is that now? It's like 20, 30 years ago now that it, it came out. I, I don't know. Sometime around that. Do my other bloodstone. Place it here. Open another door. No. Perish. Perish. Okay, fine. 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 It must have been. This. There's one of the new ads they added in there. That was one of the new creatures. Those guys. The Horn Demons, and I remember them very well. Those guys were kind of a pain in the butt, and they come charging at you. Ugh. And then they also add in uh, the Poison Hounds. Oh, those things were also evil, spitting around their big blobs of poison that just, like, wrecked everything. So not good. Uh, Alright, let's just take that. Oh, there we go. Look at all the whites! Yay! Go me! I feel so special with all those. So special! I wonder what level you get the actual hydras. Alright, so that event... Well, I think you have to do that so you can... Well, maybe not. But I think we're off. Moving along now! I think what I'll do is I'll get down to one more level and then I'll probably let you guys go. And I'll let you guys explore this uh, yourself. And let me know what you think of it. Do you think it was actually, you know, worth the uh, worth the effort that they put in, the creators put in to actually do this? You know, I, I think I'm somewhere sort of in between with it. Uh, we'll see how I feel once they release the uh, Necromancer class. And, you know, how specialized. Here's the other Gargoyles. The Gargoyles are back. Aha! Chapter of the Townsfolk. What was that one? Yeah, go me. And he brought me some stuff. Ah, man, I got all sorts. Look at that. I got the mage's stuff. Oh, I got that actually from somewhere else. That's awesome. And I got the leather, the uh, bandit stuff. I actually haven't seen that. That's cool. All right, we got to wear Arcane's Veiler. Yep, have to. I know that one's more powerful. Bust the magic rock. And I think that that is one. There's one of the rings. That's one of the old style rings right there as well. Wow, that's awesome. That's so good. I was just about to let you guys off and you just got a whole burst of all the old nostalgic things. Just to whet your appetite as we move along here. All right, come on. Where are you, exit? It must be somewhere. So I've, 
I think I'm actually almost enjoying this more as a level one character. There's something a little bit better about it. Uh, I don't know. I, I just I think it's the fact that it just kind of like blends in more with the uh, the older graphics and like the less detailed armor and stuff that they have in there and skills. So yeah, level six. There we are, almost halfway done. So I think that that should be it. I don't want to get too much in, but here I am like. Must keep going, drone on. So yeah, I think that I will catch back with you guys in a little bit. I'm going to cut the feed for a second, and I think I'll go down and like, well, maybe. I don't know. You know what? Actually, I think that's all that I'm going to do for now. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this again another time and finish it off so you guys kind of get a feel for what Diablo's like and uh, through this thing. So expect that in the next video or so to uh, finish this out. So thank you all uh, for being with me tonight. I hope that you enjoyed this this showcase of the darkening of Tristram as we uh, barrel our way through Ancient Diablo 1 modified. Whoa, the Chamber of Bones. Hmm. All right, we're going to check this out. I haven't seen this. And then you guys will definitely be be done. I swear. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I love using the old, like, I, I can't wait to get the Hydras and just start summoning them out. And, like, just destroying everything with it. I don't know if actually the, I, I, I don't think the Wizards got anything similar to a Firewall, though. That's the only problem. So I'll have to I'll have to check that out. Ooh, there's all sorts of guys. Yeah, all sorts of skellies. Freeze and be electrocuted. And when they get into actually the higher end units, man, they actually hit you pretty darn hard, just like they did in the old one. Even if you're playing with your souped up guy, I got quite a bit of my life just beat out of me quite quickly with some of them. Jeez, I'm just leveling up like crazy. It's been so long since I've had a new character that I just, I don't remember much about it. And, uh, yeah, so, it's just crazy. All right, uh, we'll just keep with, ah, I'll keep with this, whatever. Go here, shock pulse, spectral blade, that's cool, explosives now, all right. There we go. I know that Nova was one too. I actually really like the Nova spell, but that's almost like the wave of force is more equivalent to actually how I feel like the Nova spells were in uh, the original there. So that's what I'm going to go with. Those, this is my Nova spell. It's great. Jeez. Another level. I swear I haven't even done anything that like makes me like extra XP or anything. That's just craziness. I guess the one thing that does uh, kind of exist for like a fireball, which was your main like go-to spell too, is that I think your magic missile in this game can pretty much get to be that Kate that way. And that is the Chamber of Bones. We cleared it out. And there we go. There we have it. All right, now for real this time, I'm gonna let you guys go. And thank you for being with me as we uh, preview the Dark Day of Tristram. Make sure you check it out yourself. Let me know what you think. I'd be curious if you guys really think that it was a well, uh, it was a good use of resources, and that if you think they did a good job with it. If they didn't, let me know what you think was off with it. Um, and if they did something really amazing that just brings back, like for me, it's got to be the armor. They give you all the top tier stuff that you would just like farm forever for, and once one of those things dropped, you're like, ha ha ha. So loved it. But thank you all for being with me, and you guys all have a wonderful, glorious evening. Good night!